This is the car that Brad Pitt drove in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. We are the largest movie car provider in Hollywood, so there's a good chance if you see a movie with a car in it, it came from our lot. My name is Sean Grogan. I'm one of the fabrication managers at Cinema Vehicles. We have about 1,100 cars on a lot, anywhere from police cars, ambulances, school buses, 50s cars, 40s cars, 30s cars, military vehicles, trailers, taxi cabs, prison buses. Some of our cars are in pristine condition, some of them are crashed, some of them are burned. I mean, you name it, we have it on our lot. We've been in the business for over 40 years. We've done tons of movies, but some of the ones you might recognize would be Gone in 60 Seconds, Die Hard, Ant-Man and the Wasp, the Avengers, Spider-Man 2, The Hangover, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Rush Hour, and the list goes on and on. In our shop, we have an upholstery department, we have a fabrication department, we have a mechanical department, paint and body department, and a graphics department. So the way that it works is a production company will call us and say they're filming a new movie and they need X, Y, and Z and they'll send us over basically a drawing of what they want and then it's our job to turn that drawing into reality. One of the challenges that we run into is finding multiples of the same car. So at one point in time, we turned a Chevy Silverado pickup into a Rolls Royce for the movie The Sorcerer's Apprentice. We go to any one of a million sites where you can find used vehicles. They don't have to be in running condition. As long as they look good and we can make them run again, that's the most important part. Once that vehicle comes into the shop, we'll have our design team do some renderings and drawings and spec things out. From there, the upholsterer will change the seats. Maybe we'll add seat covers. Maybe we'll add dash covers. Once the upholstery shop is working on their portion of it, the fabrication team is building custom parts. When the car is completed, it'll go over to our paint and body shop. And from there, they will do all the body work needed to make the car look like it's pristine. And then they will go in and they will paint it. And then the mechanics will just check the powertrain, check fluids, make sure there's no leaks, take it for a test drive, make sure the brakes are good, but make sure that when that car is on set, it doesn't break down. The last step is the graphics team will print those logos up and then install the graphics. And from there, a production team will come pick the cars up. And then we don't see them again until the movie shoot is over. We're here in building C, where we keep a lot of our cars that need to stay indoors. We have this lovely Pontiac Firebird with uh, suicide doors from an old commercial for uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think. It's finger licking gold. And one of my favorites is from, from the movie The Hangover, but they were painted brown for another movie. If you ever seen the show, The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., this red Corvette is Lola. We are proud of the work that we do here at Cinema Vehicles. Hollywood wouldn't operate the way that it does without us. When we see our cars on the big screen, it's one of the most gratifying things to see the finished product.